settlement is really interesting because it's just another example of how the whole payments um, environment is is ripe for some disruption. Um, you know, basically what's going on is that this is a five-year-old case with retailers, a bunch of retailers, uh, you know, alleging that Visa, MasterCard, and others um, conspired to fix prices for the fees that uh, retailers pay um, when a, a consumer uh, makes a purchase using a credit card. And um, in the settlement, the, the, the Visa and the bank, the Visa and MasterCard are going to cough up a bunch of money uh, and they're going to lower the fee for eight months, but after eight months it's going to pop right back up, um, most likely. And they are also giving retailers um, permission, basically, to pass on the fee to consumers. Um, so while this might seem like a, a win for retailers in, in, uh, in one way because they're getting to pass on this fee, most likely will not pass on the fee um, because, you know, the, the consumers will then just go someplace else where they don't have to pay the fee. Um, but what it could do is it could open up the door for alternative payments, many of which are in the, um, you know, very tied to mobile payments, um, and, and could open up the door to this with retailers embracing these alternative payments because they do have lower fees and promoting them to um, consumers. So it's, you know, the settlement uh, still has to be approved, um, so, but if it is, it's, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this 